Shenmid, or should I say AP Shenmid, with Proto Belt for the extra dash, and a huge ultimate shield. This challenger is also playing Gale Force Shenmid, for the AD crit damage, and again the dash. His style is all about killing the enemy mid laner early on 1v1, and then roaming around the map. The only difference to River Shen is that this guy is EUS challenger. Meet Expetu, a player I would probably call the best Shen in the world, who is now playing mid lane Shen, with some of the most unique builds possible. Some of these new builds seem quite useful and do make sense. Others seem more like they should be in bronze instead of in challenger. This is his story of hitting challenger with Shen mid. But first, this video is sponsored by Porofessor, a companion app that Expetu actually uses in challenger. Right away when you queue up for a game, it shows you a meta overview of all the things you've missed since you last played. Yumi actually has a 50% ban rate right now, right? Please remove this champion. Then when you get in champ select, Porofessor automatically imports the best runes from master plus players, so you can chill and ignore it. In Loading screen, Porofessor gives you information about all the players in your game, showing you strengths and weaknesses to take advantage of. Like if their mid laner usually dies a lot in lane, so you can easily gank them. In game, Porofessor is even better, having summoner spell timers in the UI, so you can time the enemy flash automatically, and then easily kill them since you know they can't escape. This syncs up with the other 8 million Porofessor users so your teammates can help you. This is all on top of all the other amazing features like having the best Master Plus builds imported right into your in-game shop, jungle camp timers and loads more. I recommend it and so does Expetu. You can download it right now from the link in the description with just a couple of clicks and immediately start winning more games. Back to Shen, our player Expetu was introduced to League in Season 3. As he is from Finland, he defaulted to playing on EU Northeast at the time. He hit ranked and ended this season in Silver. Season 4, Petu was in love with the game, playing every role he could, testing any champion he could afford and spamming over a thousand normal games in a single year. He kept trying to climb in ranked, but unfortunately at the time, he had to play on his grandmother's old laptop, which could only handle 30 FPS at the best of times, dropping way lower in teamfights. Against all odds, he grinded up to platinum on this ancient machine. Season 5, he was still playing on this laptop. With the fans so loud, his friends could barely hear his shot calling, but in ranked, he was having no problems, reaching diamond for the first time, super excited as he was the first one in his friend group to make it, so he had all of the bragging rights. Petu then realised that to climb higher, he really needed a PC upgrade. He'd gotten this far, surprisingly with Lee Sin, but he was actually skill capped, because how can you insect someone if your frames drop to 10 every time you try and do it? So he decided to give a PowerPoint presentation to his parents about why he should be allowed to get his own gaming laptop. Much like the rest of us, I'm sure he lied and said it was for schoolwork, but in the end it worked out. Christmas Day, he unboxed his first laptop that he owned himself. Right after Christmas, the next season, now having way over 100 FPS and being stable in teamfights, quite literally right away he hit Master Tier for the first time. The game was so much easier, even making his way into a legendary montage with his old summoner name. This was the old Petu, and everything changed when Shen was reworked. At the time, he had a few different champions that he mained, but he did give Shen a try. He told me that he just couldn't stop winning on this new pick, even though he only just started playing it and had no knowledge of it. He just kept winning whenever he picked it, even more than the champions he had years of experience on. So by Season 7, at 17 years old, Expetu went into try-hard mode as he knew challenger was not too far away. Every day after school he spent hours analysing the game, playing as much as he could, but after each game he took notes of all the mistakes he made to make sure he would never make them again. After only two weeks of this process he hit challenger for the first time ever. He always had the potential to reach challenger hiding inside him, and all it took was a couple of weeks of focus and a new pick to unlock it. Of course this was EU Northeast challenger, so the next seasons were focused on getting it on EU West. Season 8 he had mandatory military service in Finland, so no luck that year, but after he got home in Season 9, he finally made it. Only 61 games on a new account and he was in EUS Challenger. He'd reached the peak, so what was next? In Season 10, his goal was to go for the highest rank possible, hitting number 23 on EUS by the end of the year. Season 11, he invented a new build, Redemption, a redemption using top lane supportive style that again netted him Challenger. But in Season 12, he approached his biggest challenge of all, taking a break from League of Legends. Top lane was not looking very good this year, for Shen. All of his matchups went downhill, and turret plating made his ultimate roams a lot more risky, because they were so easy to punish. This meant that the more passive he played, the more success he really had, which he thought was incredibly boring. So instead, he decided to give mid lane Shen a try. Why? Three reasons. Number one, better locations.
location. He was closer to bot lane, so his ultimate roams could now get to McKeel, and he can swiftly walk back to mid without losing anything. Number two, better matchups than top lane. This sounds ridiculous because it's Shen mid, but according to Xpetu, it's true. All of the good top lane matchups are simply just not popular in high elo. People love stuff like Aatrox and Fiora, high damage snowballers that Shen doesn't like. However, in mid lane, Shen gets to play against mages or assassins almost every game. Mages are a manageable lane, but assassins are not only easy to beat, but they're easy to destroy in lane. And number three, Xpetu has been challenger for seasons now. He's played against every challenger top laner probably at least 10 times. They know him, they know what he does. He's really the only Shen who's mad enough to play in such high ranks. But mid lane is full of new players he's never met before, playing new matchups, and importantly, they're all clueless to his early game damage. Which of course means Petu has been getting lots of early kills, feeding on the enemy's inexperience. So in season 12, he ignored top lane completely and focused solely on mid. Other than the odd game he got auto-filled, he managed to hit challenger with pretty much only mid. And he did it in style with a ridiculous amount of builds to choose from. Xpetu is the kind of player who's open to trying anything. Of course, he'll buy normal tank items in any game he needs to be a tank. But he is also happy to buy Gale Force in any game he needs extra mobility to land taunt on an important target. He's happy to buy Proto Belt for very similar reasons, but also to get more AP to make his ult ultimate shield bigger. He's even happy to buy straight up support items, focusing on healing and shielding his teammates. This isn't completely terrible on Shen, because AP on him makes his Q do more damage. This is the kind of one trick we all love to see, because they're not spamming a thousand games of the same build. They're using every item possible to reach the highest rank they can. So from level 1, with just his starter items and runes, how is he going to survive? As a tank mid laner, most matchups are pretty much fine thanks to his passive, the shield. Every 10 seconds, Shen can use an ability and gain a shield from it, and he can use it to block the enemy mid laner's damage. So Xpetu plays fully around this cooldown, going for CS when it's available, and backing off when it's on cooldown. Also taking Doran shield for the strong regeneration it gives you after you get hit. Shen's other big tool is his passive blade. Xpetu needs to prepare this before the lane starts, walking deep into the enemy lane and using his Q. This places it behind where the enemy mid will be standing. So then the lane starts, Shen's Q is back off cooldown, and he can use it to easily pull the blade through the enemy for bonus damage, also reducing the shield cooldown of his passive. Each time he uses Q to pull the blade, he first walks up and tries to keep it far up in the lane. It's quite useless if it's behind you, you need to treat it like a pet that you have to position well so that it will help you in the future. Level 2, Petu takes E, and thanks to his Ignite Flash, he can already look for solo kills. Shen's early Q damage is much higher than most players expect, as it empowers his auto attacks. Petu has always played with Ignite on Shen, because he loves the early pressure and solo kills he can get, and he doesn't really need TP if he has his ult, as he can use that to join his team. Taking his W at level 3, he can now easily beat auto attackers in fights, blocking most of their combo while he beats them up. I did see quite a few solo kills at this point against challengers, and even this nice trade combo to E out of tower range, taunting the enemy mid. Shen escapes, but his minions keep hitting the enemy mid. His next goal, get level 6 without dying. Shen is mostly a tank, so he doesn't really need as much gold as these hyper carry mid laners. Petu is not focused on winning his lane, he's focused on ruining the enemy's lane. This also includes roaming around the map, channeling his inner river Shen to get advantages for his jungler as well. With these, his goal is to base and buy lucidity boots before he uses his first ult. Shen's ult at level 6 is I think the longest cooldown in the whole game, so buying these boots before you use it lowers this first cooldown to a much more reasonable amount, giving him the chance to make more plays. And at level 6, he literally does become river Shen, not really caring about mid lane, only caring about permanently roaming. He wants to make plays everywhere on the map, roaming top, getting a kill, then ulting straight to bot lane for another kill. He does everything in his power to be a good teammate, moving around the map to help people, motivating them to carry. Team fighting on Shen is not very easy. He has two options, the first is being the engager. This is where you really need to taunt an important enemy, and it's much better if you have an engager on your team who has a big dash, a champion like Nocturne with his ultimate, or Zac with his E jump, as you can just ult them and get a free ride into the fight. The other mode for team fights is Peel Shen, which is Xpetu's favourite way to win fights. His peel is obviously very strong, he can fully peel his main carry by keeping enemies away with taunt, ulting to keep his carry alive, and then using W to block any auto attack damage on his teammates. He describes this ability as an AoE Kale ultimate against some team comps, with the ability to block thousands of damage and change a game. Shen Mid does have some terrible matchups like Azir and Anivia, but he doesn't like to ban them as he prefers to ban a top laner, which baits the enemy into thinking he's playing 
Shen top, getting him in his top an easier matchup just with a mind game. To rate this pick, I'd say that Shen mid is as good as top, and in some situations probably better. Shen, I think, is already a game-changing pick in solo queue thanks to his ultimate. It's so hard to play against a good Shen player after level 6. I have no doubt in my mind that Xpetu would beat me 100 games in a row, both thanks to his skill and how well the champion controls games, so I think this pick deserves a good rating. In terms of his more troll builds, I don't love them, I think his default tank build is the best for actually winning games, but I do think there's something very useful about surprising enemies with a gale force dash to catch them off guard. His default build is simple and will win you the most games. Early Ionian boots for the cooldown reduction on ult, a pretty standard tank build at the moment, depending on the enemy's damage, with the option to go for demonic embrace which he thinks is the best item for damage on Shen. But of course season 13 is now out. All of the new tank mythics look pretty great for Shen right now. The early data we have on pre-season shows that Shen with Heartsteel seems to be overpowered at the moment. Overpowered meaning a very high win rate in all ranks. And thanks to this item, Shen is one of the only tanks who's sort of surviving in this current meta. His runes are super simple and probably won't change, having this grasp page for trading, helping him survive lane, and the secondaries to have more ultimates. Petu is an excellent YouTuber who also sometimes streams on Twitch, so link to both of those is below. Don't forget to download Porofessor, my and his favourite League of Legends app, down at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching.